I want you to take a look at this highlighted chart and tell me if you are inclined to take this trade. Assume that you are an active trader with an interest in both intraday and positional trade. Positional trades where you intend to hold the trade for maybe two or three trading sessions. There are a couple of interesting things panning out in this chart. The prior trend is bearish. On P1, there's a large red candle that's formed. On P2, the stock opened near the low of P1 and rallied throughout the day. So much so that the losses of P1 were recovered on P2. The close on P2 was higher than P1's open and resulted in a strong close for the stock. The volume on P2 was higher than the 10-day simple moving average. The stock took support at around 2000 and bounced, which is a good sign. P1 and P2 together forms a bullish engulfing pattern. Given all these things that are happening in the chart and assuming that there are no drastic fundamental changes in the company overnight, would you take a long bet here? Chances are that you will initiate a trade. Hi, this is Karthik Rangappa and in this video, I'll explain why you should avoid such trades even though on the outside all the trade parameters look promising. Assuming you're a risk taker and you decide to initiate a long trade, your trade setup is something like this. You enter the stock at around the close of P2, that's around 2260. The stop loss is at the low of the pattern. In this case, it happens to be P1's low, which is around 1986. If you do the math, the stop loss from your entry is 2260 minus 1986, which is about 274 points. Now, even if you assume a simple risk to reward of 1 is to 1.5, your target is at least 410 points away from your entry. So your target price in this case happens to be 2,670. So let me summarize. You enter the trade at the close of P2, which is around 2,260. Your stop loss is 274 points below your entry. So that makes it 1,986. Your target, assuming a simple risk to reward, is 1 is to 1.5. Therefore, your target is 2,670. This is where the problem starts. If you look at the previous few candles and evaluate the daily trading range of these candles, you will realize that the stock has a daily trading range of roughly between 30 to 50 points. Considering this daily trading range, the movement on P2 looks like an aberration which will get corrected eventually. Usually, such large movement happens when there is a fundamental news or a rumor floating around. Given that the daily trading range in this stock is 30 to 50 points, what are the odds that the stock will move 400 points over the next few trading sessions? Now, even if you were to reduce the risk reward and set up a 1 is to 1 trade, then you're still looking at a 274 points away from your entry as your target, which doesn't seem likely to happen over the next few trading sessions. Of course, after you initiate the trade, you may just get lucky and the stock price may surge ahead giving you that 400 point move. But then trading is about evaluating odds. Clearly, the odds do not favor here. So for that particular reason, I would like to avoid such trades even though it looks tempting otherwise. For the same reason, I would also like to avoid trading on smaller candles. Consider this for example. A stock forms a bearish marubozo. The volumes are supportive as well. The stop loss, basically the high of the marubozo, also coincides with the resistance making it a perfect short trade. But if the range of the Marubuzo candle is 10 points and the range of the previous few candles is about 20-25 points, then it does not make sense to initiate this trade basis the bearish Marubuzo. What is likely to happen here is that you'll set up a trade with a 10 point stop loss. But given that the daily trading range is about 20-25 points, your stop loss can very easily get taken away, resulting in a loss. Therefore, for this particular reason, it's always a good idea to avoid either extremely large or very small candles whose range does not sync with the true range. I hope you found this video useful. I'll see you guys in the next one.